Hey, this is Joe from Dawn Equipment, and it's been a while since I've made one of these videos, but today is a day where I have something really exciting. And I'm not going to talk to you guys about all of our other automatic control system products for the planter, but what we have today is a totally new design, which solves one of the biggest questions about automatic hydraulic down pressure on the corn planter. Uh, all the time when people look at our systems and look at hydraulic down pressure control systems, they say, how much should I set the gauge wheel load at? How much should I set the margin at? And you say, okay, well, most people run in this range and you kind of dig it and it's kind of an intuitive feel. And I was never happy with that. And so what we've done is we've finally produced the first uh, of a design that seeks to answer that question with automation with a new sensor. And I'm going to start by saying this is really for researchers. And this is not a product that I expect a lot of you to use. This points the vector in terms of where we're going with the product line. And this is a product that is, is really something that we'll deploy more with uh, agronomy researchers, um, around in order to validate it because what we do need to do is there needs to be some empirical research with the soil. So what we have is the first device that actually measures the compaction of the furrow. So as you're all aware, anybody that's looking at this video, you've seen ourselves, we have the reflex planter automation system. You automate the, the gauge wheel load down for us, you have the automatic depth control system, and you have the new active closing wheel control system. And some of you that are really close watchers of the Dawn Equipment Company will realize that we've uh, changed something here. Now, from day one, this active closing system is uh, intended to be a device that could be used in multiple ways. So normally, uh, what this system has a firming wheel that runs in the furrow and this system measures the distance from the bottom of the furrow to the bottom of the closing wheels and hydraulically controls the pressure on the closing wheels so that they're always the same depth in the ground, okay? Here we have a seed firmer type device that is in there, but it's not like any seed firmer, okay? This is a very, very unique type of seed firmer that is made with an additive manufacturing process that enables us to make something that could not have been made otherwise, extremely hard metal. It takes a 3 8 tube of fertilizer and it splits it and it allows you to inject that fertilizer on either side of the seed. But interestingly, it has these little wings on it, okay? And these little wings have a sensor built into them, okay? So what we're doing is we're measuring how compacted the sidewall is. As these, as these little wings cut into the sidewall, the force that it takes to cut into the sidewall is a measure of how packed it is. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to adjust the set point on the automatic down pressure control system so that in loose, sandy soil, where you basically can't apply too much down pressure, it's higher, and in packed, heavy clay, it's lower. So that we're, we're automating the decision-making around choosing, how do I run this particular down pressure setting? It's not setting, it's setting the target, and then the automatic control system tries to maintain that target still. But this device is what's used to set the target, okay? Now I can squeeze it, and you can see the hydraulic system react, okay? I use these pliers to make it easy. And you can see the force. It's not calibrated because of I, the closing wheels have a lot of force on them right now because of the, the closing system. But as I squeeze these, you can see my gauge wheel load target is decreasing, okay? And what this will let us do is add a new data layer, which is the compaction of the seed trench or the compaction of the soil. So that you can then come back and look at that 
from a road to road basis in terms of how it is, the tire traffic is impacted. You can quantify the impact of tire traffic in the fields in terms of compaction of the furrow. You can map that in the furrow technic control system with the seven other data layers that you'll have here. And it removes operator decision making again and again. You hear, well, how do I know what set point margin to have? Should I go lower? Should I, should I go higher? How much should I know? And what this device will let us have is another reduction in decision making by the operators, another path towards the total automation of the planting process, and an, an increase in the quantification of what you're doing when you're planting, and the micromanagement of the local area that you're controlling in the seedbed when you're planting. It's the first device of its kind that is directly measuring how compressed the sidewall of the furrow is, and then causing, using that sensor to change the actual set point of the automatic down pressure control system. I think it's going to be remarkable. Now the actual force values and the gain and the amplification of that sensor are of course something that will have to be determined through experimentation in the field, and we're gonna keep doing that. But we're gonna give this to some researchers next year, have them see how things work, and hopefully answer a fundamental question that almost every farmer has. Okay, well, we automate the gauge wheel load. Well, why should it be one value versus another? How much should I have? In sand, you basically can't apply too much down pressure, right? In clay, in, in wet conditions, you absolutely can. You can overpack the seed trench and it inhibit the root growth of the seed. And the interesting thing is that the compaction of the sidewall, I think, will measure, in some ways, will also become a proxy for soil type. So this is a extremely, cool new design where we're using a new manufacturing process to enable something that wouldn't have been possible before and producing again an optimized zone that the seed is going to live in. Thank you.